Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. We're continuing on in the book of Exodus, and today we're reading through chapter 7. If you haven't already, go ahead and read through that on your own. If, if you can, read through it slowly and really think and ponder and pray about what it's speaking to you. But with that, I'm just going to cover a couple verses today and talk about two things that stand out to me. Let's go ahead and jump into chapter 7, beginning in verse 1. It says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Play, Pay close attention to this. I will make you seem like God to Pharaoh, and your brother Aaron will be your prophet. Tell Aaron everything I command you, and Aaron must command Pharaoh to, t- to let the people of Israel leave his country. Verse 3, But I will make Pharaoh's heart stubborn, so I can multiply my miraculous signs and wonders in the land of Egypt. This is the first thing I wanted to take a minute to talk about. Maybe unpack it a little bit and get us thinking. You might read that verse and have a pause in your spirit and you go, wait a minute. I thought we as humans had free will. I thought that was how this whole thing was amazing because God actually gave us the, the, the option, the choice to choose him or reject him. We're, we're not marionette puppets that have to do what he wants. We're not robots, right? He gave us free will, but here it's saying that he's going to harden Pharaoh's heart. Doesn't that contradict free will? Isn't that implying that Pharaoh has to in that and then in turn do exactly what God wants without choice of his own? Great questions. If that's where you're at, I can definitely see how you got there because to be honest, that's how I felt the first time I read this. Let's just think about that for a minute. Again, as we read a verse in the Bible, we need to consider context. And the beautiful thing about context is we can flip a few pages before and we can flip a few pages after. And as you do that, you begin to see a story unfold. You see, Pharaoh had ample opportunity to make his own choices, and he continued to make bad choice after bad choice after bad choice, already up until this point, but even in the chapters to come. God completely gave him the gift of free will, just like he gives you and I. However, it came to a point about plague five. We're about to get into the plagues. And the first five, we see him, no, 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 I won't let the people go. But about halfway through, we see him get to a point of no return. His heart has gotten to such a state that he has dug his heels in and drawn that line in the sand. And God is saying here, hey, at that point, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to use that choice to my advantage and for my purposes. And that's what we see unfold in the story of Pharaoh. Pharaoh made his own choices. It's that whole thing. He made his bed, now he has to lie in it. And yet God will use anything, anyone, anywhere. You might have a person in your life that seems evil. God can use them. You might have a a circumstance that seems ridiculous. God can use it. We might have a leader of our country, of our school board, or of our home, and they seem like they're not serving the Lord. God can use them. We can be encouraged by this, but we need to remember that we do have free will, and yet God is always working. The other thing that I want to highlight is in verse 7. Just real quick. Verse 7 says this. Moses (laughs) was 80 years old and Aaron was 83 when they made their demands to Pharaoh. The verse right before that begins, so Moses and Aaron did just as the Lord had commanded them. And they were in their 80s. Pastor says this all the time. There's no expiration date on our gifts. Let me reiterate that again because I believe that 100%. God uses people, period. God uses children. He uses teenagers. He uses young adults, middle-aged adults, old adults, aged adults. He uses all of us, but it has to be in this context. If you're going to do just as the Lord commanded you, you are not written off as unusable. If you make yourself available, God can use you to do incredible things for him. What's about to come and unfold in this story is miraculous. And it's putting Moses' name in the history books. And he was in his 80s. Friends, don't write yourself out of the story that God is writing you in. Trust him. And just like them, make your heart open and available to be used and see what he'll do. Hey, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. And I hope to see you again tomorrow for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.